in and didn't really know how to make a practice plan coherently, uh, but I did. And then I get a call from Dr. Buss. And so Dr. Buss called me and um, I loved her. And he said, Pat, look it, uh, I want to ask you a favor. And I said, what is that? He said, I want Nancy Lieberman to play for your summer league team. <laughs> okay. And I say, I said, Dr. Buss, I just gave this speech of a lifetime to these guys about how serious and how important this was going to be. How is it going to be tomorrow when I talk to them against the wall and Nancy Lieberman, you know, a woman is going to come in and play with these guys? He said, don't make any difference. She's on your team. Didn't tell me why, but she's on your team. So next morning, Nancy, I meet her from at Lyell University. <laughs> And, uh, and so she comes in, we get her place, lock her up and all that stuff. And, and then I introduce my new teammate to her new teammate. And uh, they all sort of look at me like, yeah, sure, coach. Yeah, yeah you're real serious about this, yeah. And because they were so angry, they went and took it out on Nancy. <laughs> and so for the very first practice, I mean, you got 12, very physical, very quick, very strong guys hungry, want to make it, and you got Nancy Lieberman and all the drills. And they were punishing her pretty hard. Never once did she flinch, never once did she take a step back, never once she said take me out of a drill, never once would I even think about taking her out of a drill. Now over the course of that two weeks, it was the most incredible transformation that I ever felt in a team. And by the end of the two weeks, we're maybe four and four, there was one point guard that I valued and had on the court at the end of the game that could run offense. And that was Nancy. <laughs> I'll never forget after that game, you know, we came in, summer league was all over. We we're going to make choices about roster spots. And I'll never forget, we all brought it in. And all 12 players said, one, two, three, Nancy. <laughs> you remember that? Yes, sir. <laughs> It's a good moment. It's a great time. She was. She was competitive. She knew how to run off it. She knew how to play, you know? And the players embraced her. And they cheered for her. It wasn't like, you know, this was a sexist thing. It was nothing. I mean, this is, first of all, it's 43 years ago, guys. Gals, I mean, it was a long time ago. Nobody even think about that. And I learned so much, you know, about coaching that week.